Today we're going to test out a neat little program called Add W Cleaner. It's a program which is supposed to go through a person's machine and get rid of all the crap toolbars they have. My web search. I'm not so sure about Google and Yahoo, seeing how they're more legit than the rest, like Dogpile, all the, the bad toolbars. So what I did to test this out is went around the internet and loaded my Internet Explorer up with uh, toolbars. Now, I wanted to add my web search and a few others, but to be honest, the f oh, let's try that one more time. Okay, we're going to say keep this add on anyway. Let's see, go to your home page. There we go. And so this thing became so unstable that I just couldn't add anything else. In fact, at this point, I have one. I have the Ask, Yahoo, Conduit. Not sure what that one is. It was kind of funny because I had the uh, Open DNS DNS servers. And they would literally not let me install toolbars. A lot of the websites just would not load. I actually had to use Google DNS just to, uh, just to load them. So there's all of our toolbars. Now, I just want to see what's going to happen to even Yahoo and Google, because I even uninstall those on somebody's machine. So let's go ahead and bring it over. Let's go ahead and minimize it here. It's only 500 kilobytes. And at this point, will it even close on me? Good. Let's go ahead and open it up. And we're going to say search. And right now, it is searching for all of the pups or potentially unwanted applications. And let's see what it finds. It's probably searching, thinking, my god, man. OK. The one upstairs on the, my solid state. OK. So it found a lot of stuff. Ooh, it even found Google. That's Google Chrome. OK, that's the conduit. Okay, so let's just go ahead and run it and see what happens. We're going to go ahead and hit delete and OK. So it shuts down pretty much every application on the machine, except for the AV. And now it's deleting all the crap that it found, and then it will prompt you to reboot. Okay, so now it's, okay, now it's working again. Uh, the phone rang, so I had to pick it up, but it did reboot. So let's go ahead and open the Internet Explorer, and let's just see what do we have left. Disable forced programs. Here we go. Well, I didn't exactly want to open that one, but oh well. Okay, that looks much better. Uh, like I thought, it treated Yahoo and Google as safe. So it left those but pretty much got rid of the rest. So let's go ahead and do a Malwarebyte scan. Let's just see what junk is left over from the toolbars. In fact, what is inside Add or Remove Programs? Are they still listed? Let's see what happens. Try to uninstall the ask. Okay, that's still there. The ask is, is coupon amazing. That was Okay, let's bring over Malwarebytes, and let's just do a full scan. That was some crap I got put on there.
touchdowns too. See, I don't know. I we'll see how many things are left over. Otherwise, what I might recommend is going through using the official uninstaller in the control panel and then running um, a or add W cleaner to get rid of what's left. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we'll come back once the scan has completed. Okay, it's done. It found one file inside the Google Chrome user default storage Chrome extension. Let's go ahead and remove that. Overall, it did a pretty solid job. I mean, normally Malwarebytes would be detecting 50, 60 different registry files associated with all the different add-ons. Um, so it kept the Yahoo and kept the Google, but pretty much got rid of the rest. Let's go ahead and open it back up, and this thing's much more usable. Still slow, so I'd still get rid of those two toolbars, but they are legit, and it only got rid of the bad ones. Um, it still left some other crap that came with the toolbars, like this um, this Android piece of crap in this... Uh, Shortcut, but I think it gets rid of mostly just. Oh, that's the. Uh, mostly just a shortcut to. Uh, does this work? Oh, this one I canceled. I never actually installed this. It was taking forever. Uh, yes. So it didn't get rid of that, but I mean, there again, I think it looks for registry entries of toolbars that are actually installed, and for that. It did a pretty good job. So that is my review of the AW Cleaner application. Thanks.